William the Conqueror's victory against Harold Godwinson at the Battle of Hastings was an era-defining moment. It ended over 600 years of Anglo-Saxon rule in England and ushered in nearly a century of Norman dominion, a period epitomized by the construction of formidable castles and cathedrals as well as significant changes to English society. On 25th of October, also known as St. Crispin's Day, 1415 a small and exhausted English, and Welsh, band of brothers won a miraculous victory at Agincourt. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Henry V's tired, beleaguered army triumphed against the flower of the French nobility, marking the end of an era where the knight dominated the battlefield. The Battle of the Boyne was fought in Ireland between a recently deposed King James II and his Jacobites, James Catholic supporters, and King William III and his Williamites, William's Protestant supporters. William's victory at the Boyne secured the fate of the glorious revolution that had occurred two years before. On October 21, 1805, Admiral Horatio Nelson's British fleet crushed a Franco-Spanish force at Trafalgar in one of the most famous naval battles in history. The victory sealed Britain's reputation as the world's leading maritime power, a reputation which arguably remained until the end of World War II. Ten years after the Battle of Trafalgar, Britain gained another of its most iconic victories at Waterloo in Belgium when Arthur Wellesley, better known as the Duke of Wellington, and his British army decisively defeated Napoleon Bonaparte, with aid from Blucher's Prussians. The victory marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and peace returned to Europe for the next generation. It also paved the way for Britain becoming the world superpower during the 19th and early 20th centuries. In British eyes, Waterloo is a national triumph that is still celebrated to this day and commemorations of the battle remain visible in various formats, songs, poems, street names and stations for instance. instance. The first day of the Battle of the Somme holds an infamous record for the British Army, being the bloodiest day in its history. 19,240 British men lost their lives that day due mainly to poor intelligence, inadequate artillery support, and an underestimation of their foe, a contempt that has proven fatal so many times in history. By the end of the battle 141 days later, 420,000 British soldiers lay dead for the prize of just a few miles of land gained. gained. Also known as the Third Battle of Ypres, Paskinda L was another of the bloodiest battles of World War I. A new German strategy called Defense in Depth exacted heavy losses on initial Allied attacks before General Herbert Plumer's bite and hold tactics, which aimed at taking more limited objectives, rather than driving deep into enemy territory in one push, turned the tables for a while. But unseasonably heavy rains turned the battlefield to a deadly quagmire making progress difficult and adding to the already heavy toll in manpower. The Battle of Britain was fought in the skies above southern England during the summer of 1940. Having conquered France and most of mainland Europe, Adolf Hitler planned an invasion of Britain, Operation Sealion. For this to go ahead, however, he first needed to gain control of the air from the Royal Air Force. Although significantly outnumbered by Hermann Göring's infamous Luftwaffe, the Royal Air Force successfully fended off the German Messerschmitts, Heinkels, and Stuckes, forcing Hitler to postpone the invasion on 17 September. Britain's ultimate victory in the skies stopped a German invasion and signified a turning point in World War II. At the time of Britain's darkest hour this victory brought hope to the Allied cause. On October 23, 1942 Field Marshal Bernard Law Montgomery spearheaded a British-led victory at El Alamein in modern-day Egypt against Erwin Rommel's Africa Ka Erps, the decisive moment of the Desert War in World War II. The victory marked one of the most important turning points, if not the most important, of the war. As Churchill famously remarked, remarked, 
The battles of Amphil and Kohima was a key turning point during the Burma campaign on World War II. Masterminded by William Slim, British and Allied forces won a decisive victory against the Japanese forces situated in northeastern India. The Japanese siege of Kohima has been described as the Stalingrad of the East, and between 5 and 18 April the Allied defenders were engaged in some of the bitterest close-quarter fighting of the war. Of the war.